So another central tendency topic we're going to cover this week is the idea of obtaining the weighted mean. The weighted mean is simply putting together the multiple samples to obtain a mean that characterizes all of them. So for example, imagine I have three samples with different means. So sample one is size 10 and sample one has a mean of five. Sample two is size 20 and sample two has a mean of 10. And sample three is 30 and has a mean of 15. So what would be the mean for all of these samples if we aggregated? So to weight the mean, what we're gonna do is remember that we can obtain the sum of scores by going back from this. Because if you recall, a mean is a sum of scores over a sample size. So if we have the mean and we have the sample size, we can see what the sum would be. If we know the sum for each of these, we can simply add those sums. So we can see that the sum of x for the first group is 50, 10 times 5. We can see that the sum of x for the second group is 200. And we can see that the sum of x for the final group is 450. Now we can put all of these together and then put all the sample sizes together and from that we can obtain the weighted mean. So let's do that. If we sum together these values, we get 500, 700. So the sum of all of the samples is 700. What about the sample sizes? Well, we can aggregate those as well. So our sample sizes, 10, 20, and 30 together give us a total sample size of 60. So now we can use this information to get the weighted mean. And the weighted mean would be 700 over 60 is 11.6, repeating. So here we've been able to obtain what is the weighted mean by putting together the information from all of these samples. And when you are wondering if your weighted mean is correct, there are a couple things you can do just to kind of intuitively get a sense. And the first one is to note that the size of the sample will, will determine how much effect that sample's mean has on the weighted mean. So the sample that'll have the most effect on this will be sample three, because it's the largest. So we see that the means are evenly distributed here around this midpoint, but that it should be between, it can't be less than five, and it can't be more than 15, because the mean of all of these must be in this space. So beyond that, we can then say, well, the mean is gonna be closer to 15 than it is to five, because that sample is the largest. And in fact, that's what we see from that midpoint that it is closer to 15 than it is to five. So this makes good sense that our weighted mean here would be 11.6.